Okay guys, we're going to learn to use a calculator to find uh, trigonometric function values and then to work it backwards to find angles. So the first thing is, remember the symbols, sine, cosine, tangent. Uh, here's a calculator and uh, you have something like this or an app and you'll notice there's a sine, a cosine, and a tangent button. So if I want to find the sine of a number, it's as uh, simple as Plug in and uh, push in the button, sine, and let's take the sine of 20 degrees. It's going to be 0.4342. So you just plug it in like that. It's that simple. Now, the, what happens if you need one of the um, in inverse functions? Reciprocal functions, excuse me. So the sine uh, has as its reciprocal function a cosecant. There is no cosecant button. So what you're going to do instead is find the sine of it and then do the reciprocal, one divided by that. So if, for example, I ask you to find the secant of 34.7 degrees, you are going to find 1 over the uh, cosine of 34.7 degrees. So you can do that either by a couple keystrokes or you can use parentheses and do 1 divided by uh, the cosine of 34.7, close my parentheses, enter, and the answer is 1.216. So you're just going to be plugging in numbers, not too bad. Okay, now, a little complication. What happens if they ask you to give the cosine of 84 degrees in 20 minutes? Well, you'll have to convert this into a decimal first. So remember, this is a fractional number. So 84 and 20 sixtieths. Because remember, minutes are 60 minutes to a degree. So this is 84 and one third. And you can divide one third on your calculator and get 84.33. Three, 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 three. Okay, so now you can use this and just press cosine, cosine of 84.3. And the answer is 0 0.0987. Okay, another one. Find the cosine of a, another number is the same way. Okay, now let's work one backwards. Suppose you have the sine of some angle, and that's equal to 0 0.87 uh, hundred, or 87 thousandths. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, 8,710,000. Well, 0.8700. Okay, so uh, you're going to be looking for this. We're going to do the inverse function. So you're looking for a button like sine, cosine, tangent. Now if you look really carefully, do you see how there's the inverse sine, inverse cosine, inverse tangent? Well, what we're going to do is we're going to do the inverse of this, which will give us theta, and so we'll end up with something like this. The inverse sine of 0 0.8700. Now in order to get at that, most calculators, you'll have to use a shift button or a second button. So I'm going to do shift inverse sine. So see how it pops up like that? And then I'm going to type in the number which was 0 0.8700. And the answer is 60.458. Now those are degrees. Now we're going to round it to the nearest tenth. So 60.5 degrees is the angle. Got it. Okay. Not too bad. That's it, guys. Now, suppose you have to find um, the tangent or the cotangent. So you're just going to be plugging in the numbers and working the reciprocals. That's it. Thanks so much.